Butternut squash soup is a fall and winter classic, but it's so annoying when you have to peel and chop up a big pile of hard winter squash first. In this recipe, we make it easier by roasting the squash. By letting the oven do the hard work, it'll help cut down on prep and stovetop cooking time. Start by cutting two butternut squash in half and scraping out the seeds. Now if the thought of hacking away at a hard winter squash with a big knife is scary to you, there's a much easier way. You can just put the whole squash in the microwave for a few minutes first and it'll soften right up for you to cut through. Place the squash on a foil-lined baking sheet, then brush them with a tablespoon of melted butter and season generously with salt and pepper. Put it in a 425 degree oven to roast for an hour. When you roast squash this way, you don't have to peel it or chop it up first. Roasting also cooks off a lot of the water and concentrates the flavor so that your soup ends up nice and tasty. While the squash is roasting, melt a tablespoon of butter in a large saucepan over medium heat. Add a peeled and chopped tart apple, half an onion that's been chopped, and a small handful of fresh sage leaves. Cook until they're soft and it'll take about seven minutes. Take the pan off the heat and just put it aside till the squash is done. Believe it or not, you're already done with the hard part of the soup, so you can just walk away or go relax or do something else until the squash is done. After an hour, check on your squash. You should be able to stick a knife through it easily and it should be nice and browned around the edges. Just put it aside to cool until you can handle it. Then use a large spoon, scrape out the flesh and add it right into the saucepan. You can just wrap up the skins in the foil and throw it away now. Super easy cleanup. Add two and a half cups of chicken or vegetable broth, two and a half cups of water, a teaspoon and a half of kosher salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper to the pan. Stir it together and bring it to a boil over medium high heat. Lower the heat to medium low and simmer until all the flavors come together. It won't take that long, about 15 minutes. Just stir it once in a while to break up any large pieces of squash. Then take it off the heat and stir in a third of a cup of cream just to add a little bit of richness. You don't need a lot of it. Now it's time to blend the soup and you can use a regular blender or an immersion blender, whatever you like or have around. I like using an immersion blender since you can blend it right in the pot. This soup is rich and creamy and has a nice sweet tart flavor from the apple. Garnish it with some toasted pumpkin seeds for a light, satisfying dinner or an elegant first course. And there you have it, the easiest way to make butternut squash soup.